Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will discuss about us as human beings. I found this on various sources. Please check the description to know more. There are many interesting topics there and not all of them can be covered here. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Are you a self-conscious human being or a programmed slave? The National Caucus of Labor Committees, the NCLC, uncovered a vicious CIA scheme against it, a scheme which to use victims of brainwashing as enactors of assassination. As the depression worsens, the CIA has other plans, including brainwashing of the general population, brainwashing of you, using the behavior modification techniques developed right on this campus. Preposterous you say they can't brainwash me. Preposterous. But wait, think back to all those experiments you participated in, the meaningless questionnaires, the personality profiles you filled out. They know you, your loves and hates, your needs, your fears. And the techniques developed on campus use just that knowledge of you to change your behavior. Behavioral modification to prevent you from making self-conscious rational human decisions and to have you making irrational compulsive Special choices instead, impotent program choices which render a population docile, zombie-like slaves. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Why should we pay cash everywhere with banknotes instead of a card? I have a 50 euros banknote in my pocket. Going to a restaurant and paying for dinner with it. The restaurant owner then uses the bill to pay for the laundry. The laundry owner then uses the bill to pay the barber. The barber will then use the bill for shopping. After an unlimited number of payments, it will still remain a 50 euros note, which has fulfilled its purpose to everyone who used it for payment, and the bank has jumped dry from every cash payment transaction made. But if I come to a restaurant and pay for digitally, card, bank fees for my payment transaction charge to the seller are 3%, so around 1.50 euros, and so will the fee 1.50 euros for each further payment transaction, or owner re-laundry, or payments of the owner of the laundry shop, or payments of the barber, etc. Therefore, after 30 transactions, the initial 50 euros will remain only 5 euros, and the remaining 45 euros became the property of the bank, thanks to all digital transactions and fees. Society is directed by a never-ending mainstream narrative which is always evolving and always reaching new dramatic peaks in sensationalism and hype. They fill your mind with topics they select, they keep your attention on these topics, and they invite and encourage you to argue amongst each other about these topics. In this way, our collective attention is permanently commandeered, preventing us from diving too deeply into matters which have more than a superficial impact on day-to-day -day life. Free thinking is the ability and willingness to explore of ideas and areas of the mind which are yet undiscovered or are off limits. It is a vanishing art that is deliberately being stamped out by a control system which demands conformity, acquiescence and obedience of body, mind, and spirit. For your consideration, here are three questions you're not supposed to ask about life in our profoundly sick society. 1. Who owns the money supply and the world's debt? Pretty much the entire world is in financial debt, an insidious form of slavery which enables the exploitation of human beings and of all things in nature. It's maddening when you think about it. 
The United States alone supposedly owes some $20 trillion, while the world at large owes a shocking $215 trillion. But to whom, precisely? Money is just a medium of exchange which facilitates transactions between people. In and of itself it has no intrinsic value, as we could just as easily use seashells instead of dollar bills, and still be able to get things done. But today's money is the property of private third parties who rent it out to national governments, who then use the labor of their citizens as collateral against these loans. This is a highly refined form of slavery, which has already put future unborn generations of human beings in debt. But who, exactly does the human race owe? Who are our debt slave masters? 2. Who owns your body? Ownership means having the explicit right to use, control, and dispose of something, in the manner of your choosing. The one thing you are born with that you take with you to your death, is your own body. But, do you own it? If not you, then who does own your body? Do you own your body, or does it belong to the state? I will not discuss this in detail here. I'm sure you know all about this. 3. Why is the exploration of consciousness restricted and illegal? The most effective prisons are not material, but are constructed inside the mind. Perception, opinion and understanding are all dynamic concepts, not at all static. These can all change in the blink of an eye, just because a new idea or experience resonates with you in a special way. Our evolution depends on our ability to expand the frontiers of what's possible, and when the mind is held in confinement by an entrenched system and powerful cultural paradigm, progress, even happiness, is stunted. In this societal trap, you are given free reign to debase your consciousness and your spirit with alcohol, dangerous drugs, pharmaceuticals, television, pornography, theatrical violence, and then some, yet many natural medicines which elevate consciousness and provide a window into the soul, are illegal. This is the way freedom is hijacked, not all at once, out in the open, but stealthily, little by little, behind closed doors, and with our own agreement. How will we be able to resist when so many of us have already willingly handed over the keys to our own consciousness to the state, and accepted without protest, that it is okay to be told what we may and may not do, what we may and may not explore, even what we may and may not experience, with this most precious, sapient, unique, and individual part of ourselves. If we are willing to accept that, then we can be persuaded to accept anything. Graham Hancock What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.